YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Apologies for the lack of content. Okay, first of all, I just want to say that quickly. Uh, I think it's been like six weeks, seven weeks since I uploaded the video last, but um, we're back and um, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get straight into it. I'm going to be showing you how I personally trade supply and demand, or as some of you may know, as order blocks or smart money concepts, whatever you want to call it. But um, let's get straight into it. But before we do head over to the computer, uh, do make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like, you can DM me and you can request to join my private Discord where I upload uh, a couple of times a week. I upload charts or just trading tips in general and answering any questions you might have. Okay, so. What I'm going to be showing you today is how I look for trading my uh, supply and demand or order blocks, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to be using the Dow Jones as an example, okay? So, you can see I have the screen up here, I'm using TradingView. Um, now, you can see this isn't today's date, okay? So, that says the 17th of August. Today is currently the 2nd of uh, September, okay? so. What we're going to do is we're going to start off on the weekly charts, okay? So you can see we're using um, we're using the replay tool for TradingView. So how I look to do these things is I first look for a sign that we're breaking structure and that we're going to have a change of direction, okay? So I, I have had that sign that we're going to change, um, we're, we're changing direction. And now I'm going to show you what, how I start to plan out my trading, okay? And how I look for my stop loss, my take profit, etc. Okay, so we're going to start off and we're going to look on, look on the weekly chart, okay? And we're going to get our uh, horizontal line and we're going to mark out the weekly lows, okay? So we go from the most recent. So we can see this is the most recent low, okay? Because it's broken structure. So you can see this candle here broke this piece of, broke this, uh, the previous candle's um, low, it's making this the most recent low. So we're gonna mark this out so it's nice and easy to read. So daily or weekly low, okay? So you can see it says there, weekly low. Then we're gonna do the same. So here we had this weekly high and then this broke and this made a new high, okay? So this is our weekly high, okay? Nice and easy, we're gonna keep this nice and easy. Okay, so weekly high. Now we're gonna scroll down to the daily chart, okay? Now, don't mind any of this stuff. This stuff, this is just stuff that I have marked out um, from today, from today's trading, but we didn't take any trades. Uh, so now we're gonna do the exact same uh, thing, except on the daily chart. So what you see here, well, straight away, we can see here is our daily low. Okay, so we're not going from, we're going from the most recent data. Okay, so here's our daily low. Okay, so we can mark this out. I will do it as the daily low, there we go. Now, you can see the daily the daily high and the weekly high are actually, it's the same area, okay, it's all up here. So we don't need to mark it out, but you know that this up here is the daily high as well as the weekly high, okay. Now, we're on to, you can go down to the four hour as well if you like, and you can do the same thing, but I'm not gonna bother, I'm gonna skip down into the one hour and get into the juicy stuff, okay. So you can see, what happened here is we pretty much had a break in structure, okay? So this candle here broke this structure we had here, okay? And this little piece of structure here, okay? So that, that could indicate that we could be getting ready to go downwards, okay? So now I'm, I'm looking for possible short positions. Now you can look for these short positions in these areas, okay? So you can look for it either uh, here. I'll change the color of this, something like that. So you can look for it either there, you can look for them here, or yeah, okay? So we don't, remember not every, only the ones that break. Uh, so just going back to where we were before we were really interrupted. So just to explain, so let me just try to explain here. So this isn't an order block, okay? This one right here, this isn't an order block, okay? This is, okay, this is an order block. Okay, why? Because we got a, bro a break in structure. It's the last bullish candle before we broke structure. No break of structure happens here. You have a quite a long candle, and then you have two little the bearish candles, and then we break down, but it's not the previous bullish candle before we do break. Okay, so this is a, this is a order block. This is an order block. 
Um, this one here is an order block, that's not, even though it's it's a doji and etc. Okay. But anyway, so these two trades here are valid. Okay, so now it's about looking at the price action when we get into here. So you can see we hit this is the daily that we have marked out. So pretty much what I'm gonna be looking at doing is looking for possibly hitting our weekly low. So I'm looking for taking my trades and hitting the weekly low. Okay. That's ideally what you want, but of course you don't always get that. So let's come back here now and let's go over this trade. So let's have a scroll through now and have a look. Before we do actually press down, let's scroll down to the 15 minute, okay? So you can see on the 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna remove this to make the chart cleaner and move this as well. So you can see it's quite a large uh, one hour order block or supply or supply zone, okay? Um, so what you can do is you can actually reduce it down and you can look to work in this area right here instead. So let's mark it out like this. You can look to, to start working in this area here instead, okay? Because you can see we had another bullish candle here or a doji before we had this breaking structure. So we can look to start working in this little area here, okay? Because um, it's more accurate, okay? Uh, so let's play price here and let's see what happens. So you can see price comes up and doesn't quite enter the zone and uh, pushes back. So we can continue on. So price enters the area. We enter again. So we see here now we are entered the area nicely. So now I'm looking for some price action, okay? I'm, look, I'm not just entering straight away just because we've entered my area of interest. I'm now uh, looking for confirmation, okay? So, so far, I'm looking for some confirmation. I haven't gotten it just yet, okay? So, let's have a keep going, okay? Okay, so now we can see we had, so let's push this back again. So now we can see, so this is quite a large candle. Like the candle here starts from here and then comes all the way up here. I'm not gonna, I'm, that wouldn't get me anywhere by marking at that zone. So I want, this is what I want to see, right? I want to see some of this. I want to see some price action in these little small areas. So now we can see we've had a breaking structure from here. Okay, so the last low that was made was here and then we had a break in structure but we didn't close above but then we did here okay so we'll just remove that so what's the previous bullish candle it's this one right here uh, so let's mark this out so this is the previous bullish candle we're gonna make it a different color so it's easier to see okay so we can move that out there so now now I'm looking for price to come back into this area. So we're in the 15 minute time zone at the moment. So now we're gonna scroll down even further from the 15 minute to the five minute. We've marked out our one hour, then we've marked out, so we've, then we've reduced our one hour. Now we've prices come back in and we've marked out our 15 minute area in the one hour. Now we're gonna do the exact same process again, but on the five minute, okay? Now, so we'll scroll down on the five minute. Hang on, actually, we'll, we'll stay on the 15 minute until price comes down. Okay, so let's have a look. So you can see price makes brand new lows. Okay, we continue. And now we're hoping for price to come back up and give us an entry of some sort. So now we got big push back up. Everyone and interrupt me man mother's just had to ring me sorry about that right so continuing on here um so now price is coming back up into our little zone and then bang so let's zoom in on our five minute okay so price has come in and now we're looking to see so we'd like i'd like to see it again if you'd like you know if you want you can just enter here and then you can have your stop loss either here or here but for me, I'd like even more confirmation, okay? So I'm waiting again, waiting to see if we can get something. Okay. So now we've got something here, okay? So now I'm happy we've got, I, I, I can use this pretty much, okay? So let's use this one right here. 
could use this, okay, to um, to mark out another area. So we'll just make it blue. Actually, no, blue is quite hard to see in it. Um, we'll go. No, purple. There we go. It was purple. Okay. So now what we can do is let's scroll back here. So what we can do is we can enter our position. Okay. So we can enter our position somewhere around here. Okay. You can have, if you want, you can leave the chart and you can just have a um, an order right around here, and you can have your stop loss either above here or just up here. Okay. I'll probably have my stop loss right around here. Okay. It's the Dow Jones, so you don't want to have it like 20, like at 15 points. You want to have it probably around 20, 25. Okay. You can have it as 20 if you like, 22. Right. So we'll just have it 22. And now we will push this out. Okay. Now, it, it is quite close to stop loss, but uh, it doesn't actually stop us out, okay, unless you've exited the trade early. So now, we've gotten this here, and now we can have a me. What I'm going to do, how do I manage this, manage this trade is, oh, I can't see that. I'm going to have my stop, my take profit at the weekly lows, which is 630 points, okay, making this possible 28 to 1 trade now let's go back in and have a look at the price action now okay so let's have a look now all right so we're gonna play this through now and you can see pretty much it doesn't want to hang around for much longer okay so what we'll do is jump we'll do things like this we'll click auto and we'll just make this a little bit bigger okay and we'll just click play Okay, so you can see it came back up one more time just to test this area before smashing back down. So how do we manage this trade? Right, so what we do is we pretty much remove our stop loss um, to break even as we break structure, okay? And we continue to move it down as we continue to break more structure. You don't want to move it too early or else you could get caught out. If, you're, if you move your stop loss too early, this can happen, okay? Price could come down here and um, it could hit your stop loss and then it could flunk, okay? So you wanna make for, wait for a nice bit of break of structure. I'm probably, I'm waiting personally for a break of structure of this before I move my stop loss to break even. When we're opening this, when we're operating in this little zone here, there's a very good chance that price can come back and retest just like it does here before continuing to go down, okay? So let's just, zoom out so we can see actually what we'll do is we'll move to the one hour because we'll be here for days right you can see that's huge and then bang take profit you've made 630 points okay but let's if we scroll through if we just scroll back here now so what i'll do is we can monitor it on your light uh, if you like on either the ten, or the five or the fifteen minute chart, we'll just use the fifteen minute chart to speed things up. So I'm waiting for price to break here, okay, before I move my stop loss to break even. So well, actually, pr price is broken here at the moment. So I'm okay. We're actually using, we're actually uh, breaking, um, putting my stop loss to break even, okay. So you can put your stop loss to break even here. So now it's a risk-free trade. So now you can see uh, we're about to break this piece of structure. So we've broken this piece of structure. So now you can move your stop loss down below and below and you can continue to move it down. We play around a little bit. And then we eventually get our take profit. What was it? 630 points. And the trade lasted, how long did the trade last? 18 to 3 o'clock until last of the day, 24 hours. Less, 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 630 points in less than 24 hours. It's pretty sexy, that is. Uh, with such small risk as well. This is how this is how people that are really successful at trading um, trade. They they don't look for their 10, 15 points. Um, well, maybe they do, but they're certainly get dropping these as well. They're certainly dropping these 600 odd points on the Dow, um, and then their their little scalps are pretty much for fun. 
but um, hopefully you enjoyed um, if you did please do leave a like subscribe and I will see you on the next one cheers